Welcome to Techno Dad Life. Today, wait, what are we working on today? Today, we're going to take a look at the new Aruba Instanon 1830 switch. It's a low cost switch with premium features that Aruba introduced to round out the Instanon lineup of switches with a budget option. We'll cover the physical specs today and the software features that make the Instanon switches unique. Stay tuned until the end to see if this is the right switch for you. So first, for full disclosure, HPE Aruba sent me the switch to evaluate. They did not pay me or ask me to see this video before I published it. All opinions are totally my own. The 1830 switch comes in six different models. There's an 8 port, 24 port, and 48 port version. This is the 8 port version and all the different versions come in either regular or PoE versions. Going from left to right, we can see that this is the PoE version of the 1830 switch. It has eight ports. The first four ports are the PoE ports. Uh, they have this uh, painted metal gray above it so you can tell it's PoE. Uh, yep, only four of the ports are PoE. The switch is designed so you can use four ports at a 15.4 watt max or just two of the ports at 30 watts. What this means in the real world is that you can use any combination of IP cameras, access points, or IP phones that you want as long as you don't exceed that PoE max for the ports. Then over here we have four normal gigabyte ethernet ports. The ports have LED indicators for speed and the PoE ports can also indicate if they're being used for PoE. Starting on the right we have the cloud status LED which is a solid green when cloud management mode is fully operational. Below that we have the LED mode switch which will show either port speeds or PoE status. Underneath that is a reset button. You need a paper clip to activate this. Uh, it will either clear any temporary errors with a quick press or with a long press it will reset the switch to factory settings. This is useful if you want to switch from cloud management to local management modes or vice versa. I'll go over that in a minute. Next we have the LED that looks like an EKG heart thing. That's the global status LED. Solid green means everything is up and running. Next we have the UID light which can turn on the blue LED to flash uh, when you go into the UI to help identify the switch if you have a multiple rack of switches. The speed mode LED which by default is not on, uh, you can turn on the UI. Green means speed mode is selected and the individual LEDs on the ports tell uh, what each port speed is. Finally we have the PoE light which indicates if any of the PoE devices are being used. The switch is fanless even though it is PoE so it is silent. Uh, you can see all the ventilation holes here on the sides, on the top, and even on the back here. Since it's fanless, you want to make sure, of course, that it gets ventilation. So if you do sit it on your desk, don't pile things on top of it, of course. Speaking of mounting the switch, uh, you have three options out of the box. It comes with rack gears, so you can mount it in a rack. It also has rubber feet, so you can set it on a desk. And finally, it has mounting holes, so you can mount it on a wall. On the back you have a power connector for the internal power supply which is great to keep things clean. And on the right side here we have the information to connect your switch to the cloud app. Now I mentioned earlier there are two different modes for this switch. Aruba Instanon has both cloud management and local management mode. But you have to pick one. You can switch between modes but you have to reset your switch and erase any settings that you already set up when you switch between the two modes. The good news is that cloud management has all but the most advanced options needed by most users. To set up the switch, plug the switch into a router and then plug the switch into the wall so it has no on and off switch. Wait for the cloud switch to go solid green which can take up to 10 minutes as it updates the first time you plug it in. Then download the Aruba Instant On app and scan the back of the switch to connect. There is no fee for cloud management control like Netgear or Cisco. Uh, if the Aruba cloud goes down for some reason, the switch will continue to operate and all your settings will be safe. If you're looking for app control but, but still locally controlled, you can go to Ubiquity or TP-Link 
which have near identical options to each other. I just find the hardware and software is better with the Aruba line. If you don't want to use the app, once the switch is green, go to your router and find the IP address of the switch and it will take you to the start page where you can choose between easy mode with the app or local management. If we select local control, the switch is only accessible locally, but you get more options as we can see here. You can switch between the app and local control, but just remember you will lose all your settings when you reset the switch. So I have to admit that I wanted to see some 10 gigabit ethernet ports, but after thinking about it, the Instanon 1830 line has all the features that most users want. It's easy to use, it has class leading hardware with just the features that most people want. I can see this in offices with access points, home offices with access points, and maybe a VOP phone, uh, homes with PoE security cameras, coffee shops, schools, and even home labs. If you want 10 gigabit ethernet, then you should move on to the instant on a 1930 line. If you want to see a comparison on the 1830 to the 1930 lines, leave a comment below. That's it for today. Have a great day. Also, remember to subscribe and click that notification button so you don't miss any of our videos. Have a good techno life. Great.